Whew, what's good guys, it's your man Chef from Off The Dome back here for another video and of course you know as always make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. We got new videos coming for you pretty much three to four times a week. Sometimes we do it every day. It depends what the schedule looks like. But it looks like today we're going to have a good one. Today we're talking about your man Blueface, bust down Tatiana. Stop capping. I'm really popping. How am I going to trip about doing all the mopping? She called me daddy so she don't even know her mama. Or, um... I only know three songs by the guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't, oh, I know the L.O.D. Chopper remix with him in it. I don't know that many songs about Blueface. But Blueface, and it's probably the reason why this happened, but Blueface, of course, he dropped his album, Famous Crip. Well, that was a mixtape. It debuted at 65. That would do a little bit better, but it was a mixtape. But it kind of worried me because I was like, if Blueface was supposed to be the new wave of cash money, and now we know for sure that cash money really does end and die with Drake. We see that Jacquees has done some decent successful singles, but Jacquees hasn't progressed or become as big as people thought he would be. He hasn't reached that. He hasn't even reached Tory Lane and Bryson Tiller status. He would never really get that superstar status. Unfortunately, Jacquees he's talented enough, to my opinion, but he won't get that superstar status. So Jacquees will not be the savior of cash and money. Birdman has probably swallowed and swandered the rest of his talent he had, all the potential he did have. So. Once Drake and Nicki Minaj finally we got the deal, which they are trying to, and some people are claiming that Drake has already got out of his cash money deal. This next album will be released under his label and under Warner Brothers, which I doubt. But basically, Birdman is out of an artist. But then comes Blueface in late 2018. You see the buzz he had. You see how he flowed off beat. Everybody was talking about it online. He was the next wave. Tatiana came out. It was a big hit in February, March, and April. And it did decent numbers. It went platinum eventually. After all the hype throws down, he really stopped capping a couple other singles that I don't even know what they sound like. And then he leads up to this album slash mixtape, Famous Crip. It does bad numbers, in my opinion. But for a person's first mixtape debut on the chart, I thought it was okay. So fine. Then we had... Oh, wait, I don't think that was Famous Crip. I think that was Dirtbag. Dirtbag was the one that did bad. Famous Crip didn't chart at all. That was Dirtbag. I'm sorry, guys. Famous Crip didn't chart at all, but that's the one that got me the buzz, so it did its purpose. Dirtbag charted number 65 and didn't do many numbers. And then Blueface kind of goes ghost. I mean, you don't hear much about Blueface. You hear his memes and stuff on Instagram. You hear his lives. You hear the controversy with him and Nipsey Hussle. Other artists talk about how he talk about different people. But other than that, Blueface himself and after his music, you don't hear the hype around it. So much so that when I started releasing this album this year, I was like, oh boy, this album is not going to sell well at all. But I didn't think it will do as bad as it did. According to Billboard.com, and according to Wikipedia and some other sources, they're saying that Blueface album will not even chart this week. He released it on March 13th. This is the week it's supposed to chart. Now, obviously, you have Lil Uzi Vert, and you have other things blocking rappers from really having the best. Lil Baby's still on number two. Bad Bunny cuts into the Latino trap scene. He gets to the rap scene as well. Post Malone's album still in the top ten. Roddy Rich is still hot. So you have a lot of albums taking up the top ten spots. But for Blueface, the bad thing about him is they're saying this man's not even set to debut in the top 50. So we don't know what number he would chart at. But apparently he's not even going to reach the top 50. That's how bad his first week sales were. And Blueface has a number of artists featured on so He has Little Baby, he has Gunna, he has Polo G, he has Jeremiah. He has a decent amount of features of people that would get him good numbers. But he did not chart at all. And what does this mean for Blueface? Does it mean that he's officially done? This means that he's officially over? The answer is yes. Tatiana was a one-hit, one type song. It was off beat. It was off kilter. It had a decent, um, it had a decent beat to it, but he was off the beat. Um, the remixes are the main reason the song stuck around as long as it did. The Cardi B remix, the YG remix... Those had the videos too, or those had a hype around it. Those videos did good on Lyrical Lemonade, got more screams. But overall, the whole single by itself, Tatiana, it would repeat the number 21 or so. But it got to the top 10 off the remix with Cardi B and YG. And soon after Tatiana faded away, people realized that this Blueface guy doesn't have much to talk about. He's not really as articulate as he thought he was. He rapping off beat isn't as interesting as he thought it was. We thought it was just a skim to his list of his music. We thought it was just something unique about him. But then he realized. The man really just doesn't have any talent like that. And him signing to cash money, that's another thing. That's another reason why he's still somewhat relevant. People are seeing if a new cash money artist can make it. Well, by the reports of Jock Queets and Blueface, it's official that Birdman really cannot create any new stars. He did a good job in the first go around, but then we have to realize that Lil Wayne really did find and scope Nicki Minaj, Drake, Corey Guns, Twist, all these other guys on the label. Um, he made Kevin Rudolph have a couple of his singles. 
he had a connection with Kyle to get Birdman with him. So we see that Wayne is really the link between it. And without Wayne really helping Birdman scout out the talent, we see that there will be no cash money records going from the 2010s to the 2010s. After Drake and Nicki Minaj find a way to get the contract, as soon as they don't become hitmakers anymore, which Nicki Minaj is close to being at. Cash Money Records is pretty much a record label that will be known for its past glory. And there's nothing wrong with that. Plenty of labels have fallen before. Grand Hustle had a period of time where they didn't have anyone, and Bill B came around, and then he flopped, and then Travis Scott nights and things. So Grand Hustle's doing better, but Travis Scott really known for Jack Boys, and he's really known for his Captain Jack label. He's really known for hanging out with Kanye. So for real, we don't know if Travis really is. Uh, we don't know if he really upgraded Grand Hustle now because people still aren't talking about Grand Hustle as much as they used to. MMG, now that Meek Mill has kind of went to Rockefeller and got different deals with, I believe, Epic or Warner, I don't think he really reps MMG like that. I haven't heard him really shout him out like that. So MMG really isn't getting shot out as much, so that label has fallen by the wayside. Kanye had a period where good music was getting a lot of flack and it was falling by the wayside, and it still is somewhat. Big Sean has released the project. Pusha T's hot, but after that Drake beef and after his album flopped the third week, we realized that Pusha T wasn't as big as he was. John Legend left the label. Common left the label. It's a lot of people that left the label. Kid Cudi left the label. Then he came back with Kiss, he Ghost, but that's the only collaboration project. So Kanye is the only label now, but the label as a whole isn't seen as a, uh, you know, a full label. But overall, this shows that one, having one unique personality trait can help you in the short term. But long term, you need more than just one unique personality trait. You need a story. You need to build an actual fan base. And you need to have something that people can buy into. Blueface, what do you have to invest in Blueface if you were a Blueface fan? He doesn't really tell any story. He's always talking about taking your girl or fucking somebody or just taking drugs. He doesn't really have... I don't think I know what a Blueface fan base would look like. Maybe it's a bunch of kids in middle school. But with all the kids in middle school going to high school, how long are they going to be Blueface fans? But anyway, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video. Do you think Blueface will have a comeback? Or do you think, like I do, and think that this is over Blueface? And the only way he'll have another hit is if he jumps on some other big rappers or pop stars' hit. But as we saw with Lil Yachty last week, apparently that doesn't work anymore because Lil Yachty had a sister of Drake and the baby, and this song still debuted below the. It, it debuted at number 89, so it didn't even make the top 80. So, yeah. Anyway, it's your man Chef from Off the Dome. Salute, I'm out. Peace.